Hello guys, time for yet another uh, video. Uh, I'm gonna do a Married Wing uh, on request and I find something I never tried before in the price tenant book. However, it's not the price tenant pattern, it's uh, way in the back and it's called Blue, uh, Golden Blue. <laughs> I almost made a variant of it. Um, so, that's it. Let's begin. Let's start tying this uh, golden blue. So first of all, uh, oval silver tinsel I go with uh, extra small. Just gonna apply some wax to the thread. There we go. Tying that one in carefully. Gonna tie everything in. The point of removing that. It's a silver body anyhow. So there we are. A few. Just gonna remove some back there. Some tight wraps. the thread, tying the tinsel in. Now it's quite long so I'm just gonna tie in a bit of it, not everything. Somewhere there. And I just cut the leftovers. There we go. So Going back a bit. Yellow silk. I go with like gold yellow. I like that. And I think unless it states lemon, then you go with the like golden yellow. At least I do. So attaching the silk to the hook. Just tie it in. A few wraps. Get the left over. It's twisted, so I'll untwist the silk. Tight wraps backwards. And then I go forward again. eye on how it build it builds up. There we go. So you're securing the silk. A few wraps there as well. Now I'm just gonna even up the the gap between the hook and the, the silk because we're gonna add the tail and if you don't even up then the tail is gonna point to the sky that's not really nice at least I think so Reps more. 
we go. And then going back where the silk starts. And then add some legs. Tail time. Just gonna make sure we remove all the fibers here. And the tying point. I prepared the tail earlier. So let me just add that one. to tie everything else in. I want it to be robust. Going to the back and here we're gonna just verify this one fiber. I have to remove. There we go. So, I would say that's straight on. Then we need to add a little glue. Uh, uh, shatter, Kutinga. I'm using substitutes. Tie this one in. Same here, I just tie everything in, doesn't really matter. Go back again. And waxing the thread. Maybe I should turn off the heater. It's quite hot. There we go. Heaters off. And then we start with the ostrich herd. Now lay the foundation of wax. Wraps. I think that's sufficient. Just gonna move the thread really close. Then I tie in the ostrich shirt. I 
and then cut it off. There we go. And the hull I can reuse later. Time to attach tinsel to this one. A bit of wax first. I will start with the silver tinsel. Oval silver tinsel, I went with the medium. I'm just gonna remove some of the silver. Gold tinsel. Just need to move the thread to the far back. And the same thing here. Just attaching it. in <clears throat> so I'll be ready for silver royal blue silver I would say this is royal blue ish <laughs> so I just need to be uh, having in mind that I, I want to attach a body hackle in here and then continue with the seal fern. Just gonna remove the very long fibers there. Without cutting the thread. Next step orange uh, body hackle the same here I just tie everything in doesn't really matter to continue with the seal fur. Reading the pad and this one doesn't have an underwing. So it's just a wing. 
on top. And I couldn't find any other reference. I didn't look that properly. So let's do the last of the body, body work. I like seal furry flies. And you don't really need to think about the body shape and tinsel, etc. You just add the seal fur and that's it. There we go, a bit more. No hurl head, so it's just a black varnished head. So I don't need to think about that either. There we go. Just removing some dust. Wanna have a clean table before we start with wings and so on. So let's start with the tinsel then. Then time for the oval silver tinsel. Just gonna be behind the gold flat tinsel. Just making sure it aligns well on both sides. Time for the hackle then. So just forcing that backwards and staying behind the silver tinsel. in the front. To cover up that time point. A 
and there we are. Just holding the fibers backwards and tie that one in. So it start to become a fly. What I like to do is just to pull out so, some of the seal fur. Make a bit of noise in the water there. So just cut the fibers that are too long or in the way. Of the seal further, not the hackle. And then I do the same on the other side. Just take it out a bit. A few fibers. Same there, the ones that are too long, just cut them a bit. Now it looks not much better. That will let uh, be nice when you're fishing with the, with the fly. If you like to fish with your own patterns, or the, the ones you tied at least. There we go. Front tackle, Guinea FO, uh, dyed blue. I don't really like Guinea FO, but yeah. For the sake of the pad, I'm not gonna use it, otherwise, I would use the Capricalia dyed blue, which is my favorite. This one then, tying it in almost all the way. And then just remove the leftover. So let's see if this one gonna be nice today. I'm just using all the hackle. Just positioning the thread where I easily can finish off and tie in the stem. There we go. Same here, just building up a bit in front of that hackle. Cutting off the stem there. 
now it's starting to look like a salmon fly so I'm just folding the hackle away on the top like a V shape as you see there and you don't have enough fiber that when I mess with the, the wing when you tie that one in just gonna remove that tackle tackle fiber so there we go So I'm gonna take a short break in the making of the movie and build the wing. Let's add the wing then. Let me show you what I just created. This is the wing I'm gonna add. Let's see how this turns out. Compacted nicely on both sides. Just want it a little bit lower. Let's see if I can achieve that. Yeah, it looks okay. So what we need to have on this lovely fly is some mallard. But first I'm gonna add some teal. So let me add the teal on your side first. Hi. Let me see if I can put it down. No, I need to reset. I tried to be laser there, but you never. 
never gain anything by being lazy. That's my side. I think I need to fight it with the, the mallard actually. Let me have a try. adding some saliva to make it easier then they're gonna stay there but I want it to be the small issue here though I need to sort that gap, but anyhow, uh, I think I'm gonna leave it. We need to have uh, yeast on the sides and then the topping, and then it's not gonna show anyhow. Otherwise, the video is gonna be too long, and I don't wanna do any edits. Or cut out. I want to keep it real. So let's stop there, prepare a topping and yeasty, and then we start again. So we're gonna add the yeasty and then cut all the leftovers, and then we have the topping. No horns on this pattern. I like it already. Start with this side.
I'm doing the same on my side. Gonna moisture this one a bit. Then I'm gonna varnish and then cut off all the leftovers in the front. I can varnish now. <clears throat> Just let it dry for a little bit. Then uh, cut off everything. And then it's time for the topping, and the fry is ready. There we go. Back in a bit. Oh, I test mounted <laughs> the topping. Sorry for that. And. I think it actually got in a, such a nice position, so I'm just gonna tie it in. Uh, sorry for that, but this is how it looks. So I'm gonna let it be there. Could be even lower though, but uh, since I made some trahun patterns, I need to uh, wash a few more toppings uh, just to make sure I got enough. Can okay, just play around with it. So there we are. So I'm just gonna pull down the teal a bit. On that side. Just make it a bit lower. There we are. So I'm gonna varnish the head and finish that one off. Take a picture and uh, yeah, that's the gold and blue. So I hope uh, you enjoyed the video. Um, quick one, uh, gold and blue. Uh, not perfect in any sense, but uh, yeah, good enough uh, to show you guys uh, a video of it. Um, tomorrow I'm gonna do a live starting with the Trahun pad and again, I can't help myself, Black Prince. And uh, yeah, it's gonna be interesting. I found a pheasant that uh, I'm gonna try out using as um, the feathers on that uh, fly. So uh, that's it for today. Have a nice weekend and see you in the next video. Bye.